Hello there. Someone asked me in my YouTube comments how to set up Arch Linux and i3WM. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, man. But not i3WM. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it with DWM. Because DWM is what I use. DWM is the best window manager. The very best. Not this. I don't even know what i3 went. What is i3wm anyway? I have no idea. It looks crap. So you're based out in India. I guess your internet connection is going to suck. I'm in Singapore. And look at that. It is chugging along. It's going really fast. I wish it wasn't such a big ISO though. Um, what is this? Looks big. Oh gosh. Lots of crap. No, that's... That's, uh, that, that sucks. Um, DWM is just one C file. That's awesome. Okay, let's begin, and I'm going to show you just how to do it in VirtualBox. Uh, let's change the storage to... Oh, no. Let's change that to... The downloads directory... So I have this virtual box and what do we got going here? We got the ISO, we got the disk, and now I just install it. You know, I haven't done this in ages myself. Unlike doing this in Windows or something. Um I mean unlike Windows or something, you never reinstall Arch Linux once you've installed it. And I'm not going to show you how to dual boot um, because dual booting sucks and it's really difficult um, to get right. Just take the plunge. Just go Linux, dude. Screw Windows. Can't afford to play games. Get a girlfriend. Don't play games. Okay. I'm just going to check this is recording. Okay, we're back. We're back, and this is what it boots into. Oh gosh, help. Install. Hmm. Great, Arch Linux. Time to read the instructions. Gosh, it's been so long since I've done this. Installation guide. Yes, you need to read stuff. Uh, connect to the installation partitioning format. Okay, I can do this and then mount it and then pack strap it and then do that. Okay, let's let me just try do this from memory. This could just go horribly wrong. Um, okay, first off, we need to diff f disk the disk, whatever's on there. Let's uh, nuke it. Let's create a new one. BB1. Just press enter. I've only got 8 gigabytes, so oh, that's enough. And then we format it. F no, no, F uh, What is it called? Make disk. Make, make FS. XT4. And what we're going to do, dev SDA1. And we make, we make the partition. We're making a EXT4 partition. We're using EXT4. Only the best file system will do. We're not using ButterFS, which sucks a bit. Um, yeah, it's done. Then we mount it. Mount the, the file system SDA1. So SDA is the, the first drive. Usually SDA1 is the first partition. We mount it. Then we packstrap it. Packstrap. Mount. And we install stuff. It's really easy. It's chugging along. 
installing stuff. Let's have a look at the web page again. Uh, okay, once you've pack strapped it, why base? Whatever. Then I need to do the FS tab. Then I need to go inside the. Then I have to set up host. I'm not too sure why you need to set up host name and time zone. Then you need to set up your NRD, set a password, and last but not least, is set up the bootloader. Yeah. See how this is going. Crikey, this is boring. This is boring as hell. Yeah, so I partitioned them, I formatted them. I don't set up a swap because swap is kind of like what RAM does. So I just use RAM. Mounted the partitions. Okay. In the old days, people, well, I mean, you can. Oh, God, this is boring, but. You can mount different thing parts of the file system hier hierarchy in Unix in different partitions. And that's probably a good idea if you're afraid that it's a better idea basically if the disk if the disk gets full. So then basically you say your your system is separate from your home, your home gets full up, your system has some freeze disk, your machine will still be stable even though you've sort of maxed out your disk space. What is the risk with the way that I run my system, i.e. everything on root, is that if the disk fills up, things can get funny. But to be honest, I've never really found it a problem. Another thing why you might have it on different partitions is it might make it a little bit easier to back up and things like that, but I use Git to back up. You should too. Make life easier on yourself. Um, another thing I find really stupid that people do is encrypting the whole disk drive. That is so stupid. You should just encrypt what you need to be encrypted, like your password file, you know, or a certain directory. Not your whole file system. Your whole file system... It basically should be mostly source code, which should be open source. Encrypting stuff is pointless. And if, if, you're, if you're a person that has lots of, I don't know, secret, super secret files, I mean, uh, what are you doing? Don't do it on the internet. Don't do it. Don't do it on a computer. Dumbass. Just have a couple of encrypted files. That's what I do. Okay, I don't have to worry about wireless here. I don't like the default um, Arch Linux Wi-Fi network configuration thing. It 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 suggests NetCTL. NetCTL sucks. Sucks to hell. What I do on my system here is I just hold on. I just run um, systemd networkd to pick up the IP. And I just run WPA supplicant. So basically, the configuration is in one place WPA supplicant and systemd network D is picking up the IP for DHCP. Super simple, super fast. It works really, 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 really well. Uh, NetCTL is horrible, I think. Um, so, yeah, what happens when I want to create a new uh, connect to a new ESS ID? Uh, well, I just edit WPA supplicant.com. Pretty easy. I can possibly show you mine. It's quite a big file. WP, WP. I just edit this, add a new network, and I'm on. Oh gosh, this is taking a long time. If you have a shitty machine, it will take a long time. Sorry. Oh no, and they also suggest using the. I, I want to change this installation guide because it sucks. So yeah, I ask you should use Eftus. I don't worry about this EFI bullshit. 
don't do RAID, don't do encryption, use EXT4, it's the fastest file system. It's the number, it's like one of the reasons why I would never use Mac OS X, it doesn't support EXT4, I mean how, sh how rubbish is that? Maybe I should have installed Base, I don't know what I installed. Bootloaders, oh yeah, you have choices here. And I can highly recommend you don't use any others except SysLinux. Why SysLinux? Because SysLinux has the least amount of code. And that gets my vote. Grub, on the other hand, is like an operating system unto itself, which is absolutely ridiculous. Hmm, I noticed System D boot is a bootloader too. That is very, very interesting to me. I should try that one day. Let's just stick to the tried and true method using SysLinux, shall we? 72, 1, 2, 3, okay. Um, I'm going to stop this recording, make sure it's all look looking good, and then Yay! It's finished installing things. Yay! Uh, now we need to go back to the installation guide and follow the instructions. What is, do I need to do? I need to not go in this one. It's back again. I need to do the... Blah, blah, blah. I need to gen FS tab. Gen... Oops. Gen FS tab. Oh no, I already forgot the... Minus P mount. That's P M N T, and then I need to uh, put that somewhere. I need to put it into the FS tab. So all those people who are complete noobs, FS tab tells the Unix system where the disks are, or maybe tells the kernel where the disks are, so they get mounted. And uh, what does this Gen F FS tab do? It just says that SDA1 is my root thing. Well done. And writes it out for me. So now I need to arch ch root into my mount. I don't need to do this, do I? Okay, let's just stick to the more important thing. It's just making the um, make in it IPO minus P. All right, for it, for it. arch ch root uh, mount uh, make in it CPU. What was it minus P Linux? Don't know why I have these silly options. Um, yeah, follow those other instructions if you want it to work a bit better. I'm going to set a password because I don't even know what the default password is. So I don't want to boot up and not be able to log in. God, this is boring. Ooh, latest kernel though, 4.1. I'm not sure if I mentioned what Packstripe does. Um... Packtrap just downloads the initial system onto the disk. It, that's obvious, isn't it? It's obvious, right? I didn't have to tell you that. I saw a couple of Arch Linux inst installation tutorials on YouTube, and they're so boring. I'm trying to make this fun. Why is my system so slow? So you might be thinking, what are we doing here? We're creating an inner ID, and why do we need an inner ID? That's... It ba inner ID is basically... How, how do you can think of it? You can think of it as a configuration for your Linux kernel, something like that. So um, if you need a crypto, you need to make sure the inner ID has those bits before it, about, it mounts into your system. That's the way I understand it. And to be honest, I hate this inner ID thing. Why, why can't I just go straight into my system? 
this is taking forever um but it's a way it's like a it's like a little system before your your big system is a way of thinking about it yeah yeah so you it's finished yay it's finished i wonder how much disk space i've got going here okay i've only used 778 megabytes okay what's the next step password okay i'm gonna set the password to something very unstrong like foobar change that now what install the bootloader exit the ch root Okay. Sys Linux automatic install. Sys Linux install. Up what? Let's try that one. Sys Linux. Uh oh. Pacman minus s package name to install syslinux. I'm never quite sure if I need to do this inside the chroot or outside. Oh gosh, install syslinux install. I hate this like, oh, is it underscore? Is it dash? Uh, uh, what is it? Minus i, who, who come up with it? Just do the right thing by default. Okay, I hope that worked. It looked good. Oh, back again, back again to the installation. Okay, I mounted a uh, uh, U mounted mount. Should just do that on reboot, you'd think, wouldn't it? Okay, let's do a power off. And let's go to the virtual box and take away the ISO. So now when we boot, we should be booting only from the storage hard drive. Wait, did I remove you? Remove, go away. So yeah, we should be just going off the eight gigabyte. The moment of truth. Looks good. That is SysLinux. It looks a bit crap, doesn't it? <laughs> And why is it taking so long? Load. I'm actually, I was going to wait until I got a real piece of hardware to install this on. Why is it trying to mount STA3? Okay, that didn't go too well. Let's uh, shut it down. Um, Arch Linux specify root device. I think it's just root equals, isn't it? Root equals root, change root. No, no, um, boot. It's probably the bootloader I haven't put in right. Uh, command line, command line, kernel parameters, root, yeah, 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 okay, oh dear, SDA, SDA1 fools, why is it SDA3 by default, here's the problem, and I'm going to fix it right here by changing one to three. Yes! And now it should work.
crikey, why does this take so long? How do you like my huge cursor? It's pretty cool, huh? Let me try and make this re resize and see if it works. Uh oh, no, I don't want to reset it. Um, I want to go F. Switch. Is that better? I don't think so. Hallelujah! Booting into SDA1. Root foo bar, and we're away. Okay, I'm gonna stop it now just to make sure the recording's good. Okay, I looked at the video, it looks good. Now we need to install XOR because now we have the scary terminal, which is just bash. It's not scary, really, if you're used to it. Um, so first things first, I like to make sure that my mirror list is set up nicely. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Um, this is a Singapore mirror. Okay, let's make sure that one's right at the top. If you live in Timbuktu, you need to make sure that... I don't know. Uh, this, the, sorry, this this is a strange. Let me just f first install Vim. What? What? Oh, mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm you want to play that game? So IPA. Um, well, let's see. Let's do it the proper way. Let's use system D network. Oh, crikey. Let me just have a look at how I do it on my own system. System D, system. Uh, no, network. Ian, network. So it's like Ian, star match. Okay. Um, no! Oh no! Oh no! Match, uh, Ian. No, what? No, it's not. It's not called match. What is it called? What is it called? It is called match. Name equals Ian star. Uh, what is the next thing called? It is called network. I usually go for only um, DHCP four. Why? Because IPv6 has ruined my ruined my life more than once. So I don't want to go there. So that should be enough. System, system, ct, system, ctl start. System D, network D. And I should have an IP. I do. I should have an internet connection. I don't, because I haven't put in my. I haven't put in what I haven't I put. I haven't put in my name server. Just use the Google one, or you can use System D, Zolv D or something. Can't be bothered. So we got that set up. Now, uh, I got internet connection. Uh, actually, we probably want to enable System D network D so that when we restart it, it will work. Now I just want to install. I want to install Vim and I want to install Xorg. Xorg. X or enter, enter, enter. Is this going fast enough? Actually, no, uh, just just Vim, just Vim. Oh no, it, it should be Vim. Tiny. The default Vim has way too many dependencies for my liking. Uh, it's called Vim small or something. Uh, Good small. Okay, I'm just not installing normal, normal, normal Vim. Normal Vim has what does it have? Freaking Python, Ruby, SQLite, GPM, Lua. Ugh, I hate the default Vim package in Arch Linux. Sucks.
I mean, why do you need to install like four languages just to use an editor? Default Vim uh, Packager, please just make it slim by default and I make a patch called Vim Bloat if I want to install this other crap. Thanks very much. La, 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 da, 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 da. I'm thirsty now. A cup of tea, please. Sorry, I, I would like to speed up this video. I hope maybe I cut up my mad antics while I wait around for things to happen. Let me check what mirror I use on my on my host system. I use the mirror.nus. Okay. I will use the mirror.nus. Little story about NUS. They actually have two mirrors. One, I think, done by the um, sort of NUS alumni and one done by NUS IT or something. And the sad story is, is that they seem to outdo each other with incompetence because this mirror fails too many times to, to I just like flip between if one's broken I just flip with the other one it's just really sad why can't they combine efforts and just do a good job please okay oh okay mirror dot nus uh, is that the one okay I don't know why it's got these weird scorings nothing in register Okay, let's try that again. Yank. I probably this. I'm having all these problems because I didn't set up the, I didn't set up the, uh, paste. I didn't set up the the keyboard. Okay, let's xorg this again. Now this should be quick. Look at that. I'm on my local mirror. It is chugging down. Okay, this is really, truly really boring. I'm going to go for a pee break, and I'll be back. Hello, I'm back. The glass of water. Ah, so X sort of, um, X is ready. So, <clears throat> let's install DWM. I'm not just sure, is there a package for ST? Okay, let's just stick with DW, DWM. Okay, now let's stick with. Uh, I always forget how to do this. I think it's as simple as DWM ampersand. What is the ampersand? Uh, do I have X term? I, I, I usually use simple terminal. But let's make sure we got X term and then let's oh oh cannot forget the menu that's how we get to run programs nicely start X let's see if this works oh no it doesn't <laughs> what's start X called there's no start X huh oh it's called something like X in it or something stupid. X org. You can tell I've done this a few times, haven't I? Yeah. Is it working? Uh... Wow. Why isn't it working? Okay, xorgs, uh, what you want to do is look for the errors. Uh, what am I looking for? Error? error? Hmm. I'm struggling to find out what the problem is here. Loading stuff, loading stuff, loading stuff, loading stuff, loading stuff, boring shit. Visa, Visa frame buffer. 
I know you need something for the virtual box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Video bus. Video bus. No input driver specified. Well, that shouldn't be an error. Lip input. Uh, lip input. Lip input. Lip input. Is that the problem? Lip input. It's installed. Okay, what we really should do is add a user. Uh, 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 um, box. Maybe this is some. Maybe there's some. Okay, let's. Pac Man V box. What is it going to say? V box. I don't know what drive it uses by default. Virtual box? There might be a special driver it needs. Let's go XF. XORG. Okay, screw that. Uh, XORG. Okay. Could be getting stuck here. Could be getting stuck. <sighs> Users. User. Yeah. User ad. I cannot. I can never remember how you do this. Uh, user ad. What do you call it? Pseudo. No wheel. Wheel. Wheel is like the name for. The power user, and of course I'm a power user, but this is in Chinese. It's not going to help me. What, what's it called? Users and groups. Give it to me. In English, please. Wheel. Use add minus M. God, I hate these switches. Minus G. Okay. User add minus M minus G. Hendry. Use add minus M. What? Oh, no. Wheel. Hendry is my username. Hopefully, it's not yours. And then I go pseudo Hendry. And I'm a Hendry, here it is. And then I'm using bash by default. Start X. It's so close. Wow, this works. Hmm. So let's try run DWM because by default it doesn't look like it's running anything. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? Let's have a look at my NXRC. You got to exec it. Yes. Sorry, that that now I know what I've done wrong here. Okay, anyway, we should have created a user beforehand. Yes, DWM suckless desktop. So this is the Linux desktop. This is the dream, right here. Okay, needs some configuration. Needs ST for a start. Needs a host name, needs locales, need keyboard setup, and all the little stupid things like that. But this is it. Um, Alt P to start things up. And what do you need? You need a browser. I use Chrome to be honest. So let's install that quickly. Oh, sudo not found. Okay, let's change to root. What was it? Foobar. Pacman minus s sudo. What I like to do is make sure that I can oh, 
wheel, wheel, wheel. I like to make my user not prompt for a password. Ooh, it's not that one. Sorry, the undo thing here is not very good. Let's try that again. Yes, now I has the power. Pseudo, uh, what was I trying to do? Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna try to store a browser. Yes. Oh gosh, look at all those dependencies coming chugging down. Chromium, XDG, Ulsa, dot com, Jason, Vorbis, Libti. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Uh oh, speech dispatcher did not come down. Anyway, I think I have got you going there, haven't I? I think that's it. I think that ends my tutorial. I the next little things are just little tweaks and things like that, like uh, making your your status uh, monitor as cool as mine over here. But otherwise, I think you're ready to go. That's Archnex for you, dude. I don't have any special programs other than the terminal and the browser, and I just switch between them. And that, in my opinion, is a Linux desktop. It's you. You, you need to obviously be familiar with Shell. You need to know this sooner or later. Just plunge into it and learn Shell. It's not that hard. Um, and the browser, well, that's brilliant, isn't it? Everyone knows how to use a browser. And you can do pretty much everything between those two. I, I don't play games. Um, even even graph, even like video, um, even editing stuff, I mainly do through the browser or, or terminal. So that, that that's my idea of the, um, the Linux desktop. Okay, admittedly, I use SXIV to look at pictures because it's slightly faster than the browser, but... Other than that, everything should be working. Okay, I'll just show you what what the browser looks like once it's installed, and then and that, in my opinion, you got like a you're you're ready to rumble, you're ready to go. Oh, I, actually, there's some things, and they're all in the Arch Nexus. Maybe I'll link them. You probably want to set it up so you have auto login, so you don't have to type your password. Auto start X. And that sort of stuff. <laughs> Installing Python again? I hate Python. Okay, now I'm going to probably spend an hour editing this video with it, trying to get rid of all the boring parts. Oh, gosh. Um, what else is important in the Arch Linux setup? Oh, I hate permissions. I really hate permissions. I really even resent having a user bloody instead of a, you're just using root. But the, you might need to add your user to different groups. I think users should be enough. Users should have the other ones, right? Users, yeah, this is what I should have done. Manage G users. Use this, use this line, not the one I showed you. Okay. Yes, installing Chromium. Yes. 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 Cranky, this should be fast on your machine. Oh, another big thing, actually one great thing about Archinix is that it's got a very recent version of System D. You probably want to familiarize, oh, it's finished, the System CTL and all the things around it like hostname CTL, network CTL. So you can see I'm on the internet. Uh, what was I going to show? I was going to show you, you can probably like actually set up the hostname from... Uh, oh yeah, time date CTL. 
I've got to set this all this up. Let's, let's just, uh, Chromium. Launch the browser, dude. Please. There's something wrong here, isn't there? Oh, it works. Oops. Sorry. It was messing around. Hmm. Oh, dear lord. It's probably running out of memory or something crazy. What is the display situation looking like? I'm using 1.8 gigabytes. So you can see here. And the memory I have on this system, 2 gigabytes? It's probably not enough. No, it looks like I'm... I have quite a lot of free there. I don't know. It should be a lot faster. Arch Linux is really fast, in my opinion, compared to the other stuff. It doesn't contain all that bloat. Anyway, you're away. The fonts, the default font looks a bit weird, but it's okay. I highly recommend you check out my blog, thebase.com. Whoa, this is slow. Is so it my system that's running out of memory? It's probably my system because I'm recording this. Um, and Italian.org is a personal blog of mine. Oh dear. Yes, read that. Read that. Okay, this ends my tutorial. I've installed from a empty virtualized PC Arch Linux. It didn't take too long, did it? And it's not that difficult if you know what you're doing. And I got your desktop running using suckless stuff like DWM, DMenu. And that was basically it. There's other stuff you should be using like ST, sort of Xterm, which is nasty. And you might want to try Surf and uh, all these little tools. Check out my YouTube channel. Like it, subscribe, thanks for watching.